Edge, we're so excited to be starting a brand new series, right? Brand new. Brand new. We're going to be going through um, the gospel and what, what the gospel is, what that means to us, and um, what our role is yeah. in the gospel. So just to start us off, I want to read a verse from Romans. So this, um, if you want to open to Romans 1, and this is going to kick off our our gospel series yeah. and to just kind of give us a nice overview of it. So we're going to read it real quick. Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And this is just telling us, like, we are not to be ashamed mm -hmm. of the gospel. Yeah. And now further into this verse, Jeremy, what is a quick kind of um, just summary of the gospel as we kind of get started here in yeah. just explaining it? Yeah, so we hear that term a lot, right? The mm -hmm. gospel. And so you might even think like the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, those are gospels, yeah. um, right? In the Bible, the first four books of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. um, but when we use the phrase, the gospel, that's just mm -hmm. a way of saying, right? If I were to ask you a question, right? How are you saved? So if you came to me and said, Jeremy, how do I, um, get salvation. How do I get to heaven, right? Mm -hmm. I would tell you the gospel, right? The term gospel means good news. Mm -hmm. So when you think gospel, just good news about Jesus, right? And so what that is, I'll, I'll give kind of how I would walk through that real quick. Yeah. So if someone asked me, Jeremy, how do I get saved? I would, I would tell them, well, I believe in a loving God who is mm -hmm. the creator and judge of all the earth. He is holy and righteous and just. He's perfect in all of his ways. Um, and I believe that, that mankind is none of those things, right? Romans chapter three tells us that um, there is no one who does good. There's no one who seeks after God. There's no one who is righteous. I um, mean, it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And so each and every one of us um, are guilty of sin before God. We have sinned against a holy God. Um, and because God is so holy, right? We're gonna talk about this yeah. today. Um, he has to punish our sins. And so uh, Romans 6, 23 says that the wages of sin is death. And so our sin has a, a penalty um, and it needs to be punished by God and it separates us yes. from God. But the gospel, right? The good news um, is that Jesus has made a way for us to be saved from our sins. Mm -hmm to have a relationship with God once again. So Jesus Christ is God, um, and he became a man and lived a, a perfect life, a holy life, a sinless life, one that you and I could never live. I um, mean, this life that he lived uniquely qualified him to be our savior, right? Because he was without sin. I um, mean, that's exactly what he did. Um, and so Jesus died on a cross, as the Bible tells us, for our sins. And so on that cross, he paid the penalty that we deserve, right? He took the punishment um, for our sins. Um, he absorbed the wrath of God and paid that penalty yes. for us. Um, and on that cross, that's the, that's the significance of his death. And so after that, um, he was buried. Um, and the Bible says that he rose again from the grave, right? And so this resurrection proves that he truly is he God. Truly is God yeah. um, it proves that he's not just a moral teacher. He's not just a prophet, but he is God and everything that he is, he is what he claimed to be, right? And so um, we have hope in that resurrection. And so what this means for you and me is that when we repent of our sins and put our faith in Jesus, then we will be saved, right? We will have, have eternal life with him in heaven. And so repentance is a military term, right? And the way um, that I think of it is if you're walking in one direction, you repent and you, you turn your back on the direction you're heading. Right, and so naturally each of us in life, we're, we're heading towards our sin. We follow mm -hmm. our sin. Um, yes. Human right, nature, we right? wanna do that, yeah. We run away from God, we try to live independent from God, but when we repent, we turn our back on that direction and we commit to following Jesus as the Lord of our life. And so that's repentance, right? It's a change of mind mm -hmm. um, where we stop identifying with our sin and we commit to following Jesus. I mean, then faith is just trusting in Jesus alone to save you from your sins. And so this is really um, important for us to understand, right? This is what separates the gospel from every other religion is that we're not saved by our works. And so our salvation is not because we go to church. Yeah. It's not we because- We can do all the good in the, in the world that we yeah. want to. Uh -huh. and, and that's not gonna changing. save us, right? Yeah. Because of our sin has separated us. And so we need Jesus' sacrifice. Um, and that's what we put our faith in to save us. Not in, not in going to church, not in reading your Bible, not in praying, not in being a, a morally good person, right? Um, and so, but, but as Christians in the gospel, we put mm -hmm. our faith in Jesus alone to save us from our sins. And so that is the gospel um, and that's how we're saved. Yeah, that's awesome. And to start that out, um, Jeremy did mention, it starts with God. Yeah. which that's what we're going to really um, heavily focus on today is God the creator. He 
it starts with God the Creator, the Gospel. Yeah. That's, that's how this how it all begins. And even if we flip to Genesis one one, it's the first verse is in the beginning God. So we know God was there first. Yeah. It starts with God. Absolutely. And then He created everything. And the story of creation, which I'm sure many of you are very aware of, um, that God created everything: mm -hmm. light, the land, seas, um, night and day, yeah. animals plants, everything. God created everything and it doesn't stop there, but he also created us. And so the creation story is just clear evidence that God is creator. Mm -hmm. All of creation is so beautiful. You yeah. look around and um, it might be hard to see on busy streets or if you're running around trying to get from place to place, not really paying attention. But if you take a moment to just pause yeah. and look at all of the intricately beautiful things that God wove together to mm -hmm. place here on earth. Yeah. And just take a moment and enjoy that. He used so much care and thought into designing everything yeah. that we have here. And that just, I don't know, it, it kind of, it, it kind of blows my mind to think about it that way, yeah. that he created everything. Um, there's just so many tiny details in all of creation. And it that just doesn't stop with what's around us that continues with us. Mm -hmm. um, we see in, also in Genesis 1, down in verse 27, it's telling us that we are created in His image. Yeah. Man and woman were created in His image. And if you look around at even just the people in your house, you all look different, right? Yeah. Like totally. you and all of your brothers look yeah. different. We don't look at the same. Mm -hmm. We are all created in God's image. And He just took all of that care and design in creating each of us uniquely, not just with our appearance, but also with our personalities, yeah. um, with who we are as people. Um, one thing that just amazes me in the story of creation is verse three, mm. um, where, and it says it multiple times, but the first account is verse three um, in Genesis one, where it says, where God just, he literally says, let there be light, and then there's light. There's light. Like uh -huh. his words are so powerful yeah. that he spoke and said, let there be light. And there was light. Now, if I were to just be like, hey, Jeremy, let there be light. <laughs> Does it happen? <laughs> no, I don't think it works that way. God is so powerful that even his words can speak things into creation. Yeah. And that just speaks into um, one characteristic of him of his wisdom and mm -hmm. his power yeah. right there and just taking all that time to create everything and God created us in his image. And so I wanna talk a little bit more about that. Um, he created us in his image so that we may be in relationship yeah. with him. Absolutely. He desires for us to spend um, eternity in heaven with him. But as we continue on in our gospel series, we'll see um, how we fell short of yeah. that from the beginning, mm -hmm. how humans fell short of that from the beginning. But knowing that the gospel starts with God, the creator, we'll get there, we'll get down yeah. to, to us later, knowing that the gospel starts with God, the creator, and knowing that God created us to be in relationship with him, that means that we play an important role mm -hmm. in his story. Absolutely. And so Jeremy, can you tell us a little bit more um, about God and his characteristics yeah. and, and kind of what that means for us. Definitely, and so one thing that we have to understand is that God is holy. And this is like a main mm -hmm. theme throughout the entire Bible is the holiness of God. And holy isn't really a word that we use a lot, mm -hmm. right? I've never described um, someone as holy. Um, I don't, yeah. I just don't use that word in, mm -hmm. in everyday language. Um, and so think about this, um, the word holiday, right? Mm -hmm. Holiday literally Holiday's means fun. holy day, right? Think <laughs> yes. about that. Um, and so what it means, the word holy just means set apart. Mm -hmm. Something that's unique, that's different, it's one of a kind, right? And so when it comes to holiday, right? Think about Christmas, it's a it's holiday. One of, it's one of a kind. It's one it's of a kind. Apart. No other day is like Christmas, right? No. It's the best day of the year. Um, everyone yeah. loves it. Um, and so one thing that helps me understand the term holy is understanding what the opposite of it is, right? Mm. And so the opposite of holy is common. Right, so think about that. Um, holy means unique and set apart. And so the opposite of that would just be regular, common. Mm 
yeah. everyday things. And so any that helps. Day. Yeah, any other day of the year, right? Like today, you, you know, you just got up and went to online school and did your normal things, right? Yeah. It was a regular day. And so holy uh, means set apart. It is different. It is distinct, um, one of a kind. Um, and so if we don't understand this, that God is holy, um, then we won't understand the need for the gospel, right? Yeah. Um, because understanding God is holy, um, it, it means that he's set apart from us. Mm -hmm. He's set apart from his creation. Um, he's different. He's distinct. He's one of a kind. Um, and he is the only one deserving of all of our praise, right? And we've talked about this throughout yeah. the year um, as a church, right? What's our entire theme for the year? Do you know it? Can you say it? Um, it's for his glory, right? That's the thing that our church has yeah. been talking about the entire year that all things were created for God's glory. Um, and, and he's deserving of that, right? Because he's holy, because he is the only one that truly deserves all of our praise, right? All things were created for him mm -hmm. and through him, right? And so understanding God is holy, right? We know that he is our creator, mm -hmm. right? He's the holy king, right? He's ruling over his creation. Yes. Um, and he is also the judge, right? And so his holiness um, brings a moral standard for all of us. And we're gonna talk about that more next week, but I want you all to focus on for this week, um, think about how God is holy. Think about he's, how he's unique um, and perfect and one of a kind, right? And so if God is holy, what does that mean for us, right? How does having this holy God who is the creator and judge of all the universe, how does that affect us in our lives? What does that mean for us? Are we, are we holy? Like think about that in your lives. Um, and so that's something that you can, you can think about throughout the week. Those are some great questions. I really love the um, comparison with holiday. Yeah. That that really, it it just helps explain everything so easily. Because, I mean, think back. What did you do on December 20th last year? I have no idea. What did you do on December 25th? I was opening Christmas presents. See? And having the time <laughs> of my life, right? Exactly. Um, and that term holy, things. right? It's so mm -hmm. hard to understand. And sometimes we think it means just like morally pure mm -hmm. or righteous, which is a, an aspect of God's holiness, but it's so much more than that. Meaning that he is just one of a kind. He is greater mm -hmm. than everything else, greater than all of his creation, right? And his holiness points us to our need to bring him praise. And so um, we will we'll always want to understand that when we share the gospel. Yeah, I love that. And so students this is um just our first part of the gospel yeah. and just a, a nice intro for you guys and really focusing on god the creator and so we challenge you this week just as jeremy said think about what it means that god is holy yeah. what does that mean to you in your life um take a moment write something down put your thoughts down on paper and really just focus on that for this week and we oh. challenge you to do that definitely yeah. and just a, a quick outline of this series and we're just gonna go through a, a, a quick way to share the gospel. Like if you mm -hmm. notice in my, how I just um, gave the gospel yeah, to you guys. Yeah, he fully shared the gospel yeah. in, in what um, was that, two minutes? Yeah. yeah, and so there's four parts that we wanna touch on. And so this is gonna be a four week series. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about all four of those parts. And so the first one we talked about today is God the creator. You wanna talk about that, how he's our, our holy creator and he's the judge of all the earth. Mm -hmm. um, next week, I'm gonna be talking on man the sinner, how each yeah. of us have sinned before a holy God. And then the third is Jesus the savior. We talk about him and his work on the cross. And then after that, we go to our response of faith mm -hmm. and repentance, right? And so those are the four categories that we're gonna talk about as you move through the gospel story. Um, and we want you guys to be able to explain the gospel. That's yeah. our goal with this series, that you would know the gospel and be comfortable sharing the gospel, right? Yes. As Christians, we're called to make disciples, right? We're called mm -hmm. to go out to all nations to, to share the good news of Jesus. Um, and so you need to make sure you can do that. We want you guys to be comfortable in doing that. You're not too young to do that, no, right? No, not at all. If you follow Jesus, you are called to make disciples. And so you need to be able to know the gospel, practice the gospel, be yeah. able to explain it. I do that almost every day. Um, when, I, when, I, when I drive to um, school or I drive to, to go anywhere, um, I, one, one thing that I try to do is just go through the gospel. Yeah. I say it out loud while I'm driving in the car. And so you can find that in your life. Find this two to five minute time where you can say, okay, I'm just gonna practice saying the gospel. If somebody came up to me and asked me, how do I get saved? Or who is Jesus? Yeah. What is the gospel? Just go through that answer so you can just give it just like that. That's awesome. That's a great challenge. That's definitely gonna be a challenge on week four yeah, definitely. of this series. Uh -huh. Well. Bridge, we're so excited to be kicking off this series, and we do hope that you join us um, on the lawn for our every other Monday yes. services, because we're also going to be going through this series there as well. It's just going to look mm -hmm. a little different since we'll be 
in person versus online, but we do hope that you join us there. Definitely. Wanna go ahead and pray us out? Yeah, let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, um, we just thank you for this day. Um, God, we enjoy learning about you and getting to know you better, God, that you are holy, that you are creator, that you are judge, um, that you are the king of all the earth. And so God, um, we rest on that today. We acknowledge that. I pray that we would grow in our understanding of that. And God, as we um, examine your gospel, as we hope to grow in our knowledge of the gospel and, and being able to share that with others, God, would you help us in that pursuit, Lord? Um, we love you, Jesus. We want other people to love you too. Um, so help us as we study this gospel. Um, we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right. See you, students.